Hey man. Hey man. Got them the mocha threes on today, you dig? You dig? A lot of y'all folks slept on this shoe. You feel me? Hell, I even slept on it. Until I seen them in stores for a decent price, you feel me? A price that I could not just leave them in the store. Hey, these ain't even my size, you dig? <laughs> <laughs> These are 11. I wear 11 and a half. <laughs> they had that. They had. They had this shoe on the store. I said, "Oh, come on now, come on now." I guess people didn't like them because they were brown and white. But not me, not your boy. I had to make that move. Now, honestly, I know I'm gonna go down here to the grocery store and um. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> get some items, cause you know, your boy has to get some food up in this crib. You, you dig? Cause he, I've been procrastinating. Like I don't really like grocery shop. I don't know if it's just me. You know, comment down below. But I don't know if it's just me. But I don't like. I swear, I do not like grocery shopping. Like I would be trying to make a list, but I be like, I be stuck at like three, like number three. Like after three, I like he. Listen, I know how to cook though. It's just like making a list is just like, bruh. And then when you go in there, you just be looking like, eh, I want to cook that, but I don't want to spend the time cooking that. So, hey, bruh. But listen, I'm going to go down to this grocery store. I'm going to go to Sam Club first. Then I might go to Kroger or Pullets or some of that nature. I'm not sure. But I am sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna. Crazy. I'm gonna give me some, I know I gotta go get me some fruit for sure. You know what I'm saying? After that, it's just like, I don't, I don't know. Cause I don't really wanna just go in here and buy sweet because Lord knows. The thing about me, I'm the type, bro. I don't know if it's just me. Answer, answer you know what I'm saying? In the comment, in the comment section down below. I don't know if it's just me, but um, if I go buy sweets, bro, the sweets would be the first thing gone then I moved to like everything else. But the sweets, I'd be like, bro, they'd be like, hey, just make you a, a sweet cat. Let me tell you something. I promise you, if I go get them sweets, or if I go buy some sweets, I will not eat any other thing else before I got that, before anything. Because I'm not going to just, like, I'm not going to just go in the kitchen and make me a meal. I'm like, yo, you know what? I got them, I got them part tarts in there. You dog, you dig what I'm saying? Let me go eat these part tarts. Oh, I got some fruits next to there. Let me go eat these fruits then. So, I'm going to try my best. I'm going to just walk straight past that, 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 them sweet owls. And say, I don't need that. You feel me? It's easy. But if you go down that hype, like, shh, let me go in and grab this here. Let me go in and grab that there. You feel me? So, hey. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe on the video. Share the video, you dig? I'm trying to, I'm trying to reach this thousand subscribers. I'm trying to reach a hundred, then two hundred, then then three hundred, then four hundred, and so on and so on and so on. But you gotta share the video. You gotta subscribe to the video, and you gotta like the video, my guy or my girl. You feel me? Cause I need y'all help, man. I'm trying to be great. And I know y'all want me to be great. So smash it. It's free. <laughs> it's free. So smash smash the like button. Smash the like uh, uh share button. Smash the, the subscribe. You know what I'm saying? That's free, you dig? You ain't gotta pay nothing for that. You feel me? You ain't gotta pay nothing. Enjoy the vid as we continue to go. You dig? Check this out. I'm finally leaving uh Sounds Club, bro. Listen, they still got us going, standing in the line six feet apart, all that other stuff. Bro, the lines and the wait time to be going in these stores is ridiculous. Like, Jesus, I was standing outside the line. I was standing in line, bro. I was at the front of the door, bro. I was standing at least like 45 minutes. I'm like, God, come on with that line. Like, what's up, bro? So I think they were letting like 30 people in the store at a time. But you gotta understand how big Sam's Club is. I don't know if you've ever been in Sam's Club, but it's so big, bro, you can at least put 50 folks and still have six feet apart, like 12 feet apart. Like, 
Jesus, I'm just sitting there like, come on with the come on, man. This shit is ridiculous. <laughs> but hey, I went in there. I got me a few items. Usually when I go in Sam's, I really only go in there for my little breakfast items. You know what I'm saying? Because Sam's, you buy them both. And I, like I said, I don't know if y'all got like BJ's, Sam's, or whatever. But when you go in stores like that, you buy both. And so, I bought my breakfast food on the boat, on the boat side of the game. And I bought me a few little, little fruit items, you know, some bananas, some apples, you know what I'm saying? Granny Smith, you feel me? That's the only kind I do, you dig? I want them cotton candy grapes they had, the cotton, cotton, cotton candy grapes they usually have in there. And I'm getting tongue tied like a fool. But they ain't have them in there, so I ain't getting no grapes. I'm gonna probably go down here and get uh go to Walmart across and get some of them grapes that be kind of crispy. It's like a, like it's like a, like a laid potato chips when you bite when you bite into that thing. Check this out, bro. Check this. What do you have to do? Check this shit out, bro. I done had these shoes on for hours, my guy. For hours, and my feet are on fire. That's what, I guess that's what you get when you go half a size down and you got motherfucking wide feet. These motherfucker boy. Woo! 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 Jesus! Hey, hold on. Do what I gotta do real quick. Check this out. Bam. Bam. Hey. Move them to the side next to them uh, Jim Red guys. Put these Rogers on because I got some groceries in the car. Listen. Listen. I would not lie to you. I would not lie to you. Bruh. My feet. Ooh. Feel like somebody been squeezing my feet like this all day. They've been squeezing my feet like this all day, you dig? But hey. We got into some stuff today. Y'all may get it in this vlog. Y'all may not. But the only way to find out is to continue to watch the vlog. Cause I don't know, I don't think this is gonna be the end of the vlog. Maybe it is, maybe it ain't. Who knows? Hey, Mother's Day was just well yesterday or the day before yesterday. Listen. Cause I don't know when I'm gonna upload this. Um if you have your mother, let me step outside for this. Check me out. I'm outside now. If you have your mother in your life. Or your father in your in your life, cherish that. Because a lot of people don't have their mother or their father. And they really just out here by themselves, figuring it out by themselves. Or they may have lost their mother or father. And you know what I'm saying? Like I say, time is short. You don't know. Tomorrow that person that you your mother or father may not be here. Next week they might not be here. You, really, you should just right now pause the video going going to the day room or wherever they're at living room or whatever and just or call them and just say you know what i love you man i love you because you don't know like i don't have my mama it hurt me every day that i don't have my mama but it's like you know i got other folks but it's just like my mama you know your mama and your father depending on the person it might be like your best friend and so like i say some people don't got they, they got their people's if you got yours, man, just pause the video right now and go in there and tell them you love them. Because, listen, like I say, tomorrow's not promised to nobody. You might not be here tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? But, cherish every single day like it's, like, like it's just that it's your last day on this planet. Because you just never know. So, check this out. I done got up early this morning. Cousin told me, hey, come down to Clearwood Park and walk the track with me or whatnot, right? So how you gonna ask me to come down here to this track with you? You get here early, you don't wait on me. Who does shit like that? I mean, come on, man. So now I just gotta walk until I see this man or jog until I see this man. Lord knows when I'm gonna see this man because I might not see this man. Well, his car right there, so he gotta pad me to get back in his car. Dig. So, um, yeah. So, um, you know what I'm saying? I down here at this park walking around. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I don't know how this, how this gonna go. Dig. Hopefully, I run into him. If I do, hey, good. If I don't, well, <laughs> I end up calling him and seeing where he at. If I don't see him, you dig? Cause <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, 
I hope y'all up doing something. I don't know what time y'all getting this video, but I hope y'all up doing something rather than nothing. Cause hey, at the end of the day, it's on you to 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 to, to be what you want to be. You dig? And I always say stuff like that because it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> can't, can't wait on nobody else. If it's something you want, you gotta go get it. I don't care what it is. If it's something you want, it's on you to get it. Cause hey, people let you down, man. They let you down. Now, now I finally made it to the track, and I finally caught up my ass with this guy, man. Up. That's why I tell you don't bring that shit. Out. Look, look, look. He nervous. He nervous, coach. Huh? You ain't worried about nothing? Nah, nigga, I'm finna walk. <laughs> okay, okay. Say, so, this nigga been trying to get me to get up here the last few days and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, so he been trying to get me up here the last few days. Well, I'm here. You feel? Nigga, I knew you wouldn't come out no more, Huh? I knew you wouldn't come out. I would've came out here, but you be, but you be getting up by, you be getting up by 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. Man, I still be in bed, man. Morning. My back still be resting and whatnot. I be ready to do that shit in the morning, then in the afternoon. Afternoon, I'm not gonna do it, bro. Hey, man, you gotta be out here in the afternoon baking like a, like a sun chip, you dig? I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm straight just like this. No sun out. That sun coming out. I would have had a jacket on, I know that shit. So hey, shit man. Do your thing, my guy. I done came to this track. I think I don't run like three and a half, four miles, you dig? I didn't keep up with this shit, bro. <laughs> but I know I did. I, I did heli, heli miles, you dig? Hey, but, uh, yeah, I'm about to gonna come here tomorrow, you dig? I ain't too sure, but you know. You feel me? Yes, sir. Hey, make sure you come.